Okay, here's a little video that I am doing because I believe I have a problem with Puppy King's Turn around the right way, it'd be handy. 40 amp speed controller. Uh, dead out of the box. Uh, you can see how it's connected up nicely here to the motor here. And XJ60, XT60, should I say, fitting. No cross leads, no worries. Have a look. Battery, 3 cell, 2200. You can see it's got plenty of voltage, 12.48 volts. Has already been bound, which you'll see. Put our little uh, lead into number three with the brown facing out. It's a little bit fiddly. Throw our speed controller in here, and first of all, before I do that, you can see lights on, ready to rock. Powered up. You see the receiver has power. Uh, there is no noise, no uh, audible sound from the speed controller saying that it is even alive. So, fault finding. I uh, decided to pull a speed controller out of a Skymaster from Hobby King that I have. Uh, in case there was a short or something in the motor causing this and you will soon see that that is not the case so let's just power this down in case of any nasties okay no power let's unplug the speed controller out of the system Speed controller there. Here is the one out of the Skymaster. Let's plug him all in. I'll just randomly select these wires here. 50% chance of getting it wrong. No doubt it will be. Put our power back onto th uh, channel 3 for our little receiver and you can see black is facing out now all good motors there now I'll repower up our Skywalker 30 amp oh Actually, I thought I made a mistake there. I've powered up, except I haven't powered up, of course, the Turnergy watt meter and power analyzer. This might make a difference. Okay. We have audible sounds that the Skywalker speed controller is working okay. Let's uh, bring the remote, uh, not the remote, the control in here a little bit. Transmitter, give it a little bit of throttle. No worries, working as it should. Unfortunately, this one that I went to the trouble of soldering all the nice little bits and pieces onto is dead out of the box. Bit disappointed. Uh, first time I've ever had so far a problem with a Hobby King product. Um, I'll be putting this in for warranty. Uh, hopefully they can uh, either credit my account so that next time I order something I can throw another one on there. I'm quite... Uh, you know, willing to uh, put it on my next order so you don't have to specially send it to me with the freight. I mean, I know these things aren't particularly expensive, but it would have not been nice if it actually worked. Anyway, we'll see how we go. Bye for now.